This video is all about the friend zone. What to do once you're in it, how to get out of it, and is that where you want to be? Now, it's important. As you go through life, you, be, you will become a lot better at this, yeah? If you find yourself at the moment easily getting stuck in the friend zone, it's because you don't know how to set yourself up quickly at the start, yeah? So if you meet someone, they should know within the first five minutes whether you want to be their friend or you want to be in a romantic relationship with them. And you should know it as well. You should go in there with that clear intention. So if you go in there with a clear intention, I just want to be friends with this person, just be friends with them. If you go in there saying, look, I want to go on a date with this person, set out with a clear intention and know it. Know it, have a goal in the back of your head when you go on to approach someone or say hello, you want to go on a date with them. Just to see, you'd rather start off in a romantic sense. Now, once you're already in the friend zone, if you're already in the friend zone, you want to get out of it, you want to, you know, you think you really like this person, they're a good friend, how do I take it from a friend zone into a normal position? You need to do a little bit of invest and test, yeah? You need to put a little bit in, put a little bit of effort in romantically and see if it gets reciprocated. Just a little bit. So you wanna do a little bit of flirting here and there. So say you're doing an activity together, you could be going to an arcade or playing golf or whatever it is, just some sort of physical activity. Try to flirt a little bit, use a bit of physical touch, yeah? So if you hang out with this person, use a bit of physical touch, like bump them with your shoulder, slap them on the butt as they walk by, all that sort of stuff, like a little bit of physical touch, a little bit of cheekiness, a little bit of romance, and see if it's reciprocated. It's called a little bit of invest and test. So you just put a little bit in and see if it's reciprocated. So if they walk past you like, and you, you're playing golf or mini putt putt or something, you're like, you're having a nice, a nice time, and they walk past, slap them on the butt, say, hey, good job, you champion and see their face, see their face. So they go, oh yuck, don't touch me like that. Well, there's probably low attraction for you. And there's, don't try to get out of the friend zone because they're not willing to reciprocate any sort of affection. If they go and, and they slap you on the butt on the next one and, they, and you create this bit of back and forth banter with flirtiness and physical touch, it shows a good attraction for you and you can take it to the next level, yeah? What you don't want to do is be super awkward and go up to them and say, look, I really like you. Do you want to go on a date? It's, it's going to seem like you, you're asking out someone and, you, and you're still in primary school, okay? So you don't want to do this. You want to just do the, just invest a little bit and see if it's reciprocated. Use that little bit of flirtiness, a little bit of physical touch and see if they reciprocate it back. And you want to create a bit of sexual mystery between the two of you, a bit of bit of sexual chemistry, yeah? And then try to create a, the sexual passion out of the friendship. Yeah, a little bit of flirting, a little bit of eye, a little bit of winking, all this sort of stuff until eventually you're kissing. And then eventually you slowly keep making moves on each other and then, you, then you're sleeping together and then the relationship will build. You need to create that sexual chemistry first. That's how you get out of the friend zone. You don't want to say words like, I don't want to like, I don't really like being your friend. I'd rather be your partner. I want to, I want to go on a date with you. It's just going to come across as really awkward and needy and desperate and it's going to, it's a turn off. Yeah. Use physical touch and invest a little bit. See if that affection is reciprocated. If they won't reciprocate any affection you do, they don't reciprocate anything and they're not showing you any affection, go out with someone else. It's a waste of your time. There's 7 billion people on the earth. Go and find someone else to go out with. There's a lot of people out there. Don't waste your time with someone who has a low attraction for you. Okay, hope that makes sense, guys. If you have any questions about any sort of relationship stuff at all, put in the comments or send me a message on my social medias or wherever you're watching this video and let me know what your thoughts are. And if I can help you in your situation in any particular way at all, Okay, my goal in life is to help as many people as possible with relationships and that's my purpose and that's what I live every day. In saying that, relationships can also be amazing, but they can also be devastating. My purpose in life is to make sure I show as many people as possible how to have an amazing one and not to have a devastating one. I've had both and it's obvious which one is better, okay guys? So remember, go where the winners go, 110%.